Yo guys, Jack here. If you have been following up closely with the 3D world, you have probably have heard of a new tech and with the weird term called 3D Gaussian splatting. And if you haven't, that's okay. Because in our 3D world, it's been unbelievably crazy in the past two years. Like, we had photogrammetry before, and then nerves came out last year. And man, now we have 3D Gaussian splatting. And in this video, we are going to learn what the heck is 3D Gaussian plotting and why it's a big deal for us. And of course, you guessed it, Kiri Engine now supports 3D Gaussian plotting, and I'm so proud to say that we are the first that supports the 3D Gaussian plotting on both iOS and Android devices. So, let's get started. <laughs> 3D Gaussian plotting or 3DGS for short, is a new way of representing 3D models. <laughs> and, and what does it actually mean? You know, when we say 3D models, we generally mean the combination of two things. A 3D mesh that represents the shape of an object, and textures that represent the color and materials of it. So when we have this kind of 3D model with mesh and textures, we can easily import it to 3D software like Blender and the Unreal Engine and start working on it. And this is how we've been doing 3D creation for a long time, right? However, this kind of 3D workflow relies heavily on those 3D models themselves. I mean, if the 3D models have great mesh and texture qualities, your 3D project will look stunning. But if the mesh and textures are not so good, and so will be your 3D project. Ah! Well, I'm not saying that using 3D mesh and textures is wrong, it's just that it requires strong 3D modeling skills and tons of time to create stunning 3D scenes. Although we have Kiri Engine with PhotoScan, LiDAR Scan, and Featureless Object Scan to save the world, Due to the nature of those technologies, it doesn't always give you perfect meshes or textures. That's why in some of the scans, you will notice rough surfaces or blurry textures. What if? What if we can skip the 3D mesh and textures part and give you a photorealistic 3D model straight away? And this way, we'll never worry about blurry textures or rough surfaces because there will be none. And that's 3D Gaussian plotting. The first part of the 3D GS is pretty much the same as photogrammetry. It produces the sparse point clouds from the photo set. This is the easy part in speaking the language of computer graphics. But What's changing the game here is that unlike photogrammetry, which will need to produce dense point cloud and 3D mesh following the sparse point cloud part, 3DGS produces what we call 3D Gaussians from the sparse point cloud. It's like a mosaic of colors radiating from each point. This is the machine learning part. It uses machine learning to figure out the right colors to represent the areas around each point. And as a result, you have thousands of those 3D Gaussians around each point. And when they overlap, because the machine learning did all the fantastic job, you will start to see the entire 3D scene represented by the 3D Gaussians overlapping with each other. This is how the 3D GS to skip the mesh and texture part and give you a 3D scene directly. This is pretty cool, right? But yo, there's something that's even cooler. And because the 3D GS is developed on top of the point cloud, it actually shares the same file format as the point cloud. It means it has the potential to be integrated into traditional 3D workflows. Imagine you can import 3D GS models into your Unreal Engine or Blender project and work together alongside with other mesh models. It could be changing the industry forever. Although this process is far from perfect yet, there are some Unreal Engine plugins that can get you an early taste of it. And I've embedded one of the links to the plugins in the description area. So help yourself. 
And because it has the same file format as point cloud, we thought we should do something cool about it as well. Therefore, not only that you can capture 3D GS models on Android and iOS, you can also embed those 3D GS models into your Shopify or Wix websites, or just about any websites or applications that supports HTML embedding. So without further ado, let me show you how you can make 3D GS models on the Carry Engine app and how you can embed them into your websites. Making the 3D GS scan is very easy. You pick an object and just start recording video around it. If you can't capture the entire object within one rotation, it's okay, because you can do several rotations to capture the object in layers, like what I'm doing. I did three rotations cover the top, middle, and lower part of the object. This should get you a great 3D GS model. When we finish recording the video, we can then upload it to our server and wait around 20 minutes. And then you'll get this amazing 3D GS model. Now, let me show you how you can actually use this 3D GS model on your website. Well, I am a Wix person, so I'll do it on Wix, but you should be able to find the similar options on all website builders like Shopify, WordPress, Webflow, and etc. All right. So I made this simple demo website previously, and to use the 3 dgs model, you need to find the embed code option on your website builder. For Wix, it's under plus sign, and go to embed in social, and then embed code. So where do you find the code? You can log in to Carry Engine Web, and you will notice a new 3 dgs tab there. And there, you will find all your 3 dgs scans in the Carry Engine app. Click on the embed button in the top right corner, and here you can do some basic operations. For example, you can choose the resolution of your 3DGS window. Let me change it to 1920 by 1080. And you can also hide the Try Carry Engine button to make the UI cleaner. And once you're done, you can copy the code to clipboard and paste it to Wix. There, you now have a 3DGS model embedded in your websites. All right, that's about it for today's video. And I can't wait to see what kind of scans you guys will create using the 3 gs And while you're playing around with the new tech, us at Kiri will continuously to improve the quality and usability of the 3 gs technology. So if you like what we're doing here at Kiri and wanna help a small but vicious company to grow, please like this video and subscribe. So see you in the next video.